Hi, I'm Dr. Zoe, a licensed psychotherapist and relationship coach. I received a question from a mom in a blended family about how to handle when her stepchild, who's nine years old, brings things into her home that she's not comfortable with or she doesn't allow for her bio child, who's three years old. And how can she have these conversations? I think this is a great question because it's a common issue. Step parenting is not for weaklings. And it seems that this particular issue may be more about the age gap and less about the step relationship which is good news. I would always invite you first, if you're in a blended family, to assume that it's just a family issue before you assume that it's really specific to a blended family issue. But regardless, this is your home, and there should never be a time when your stepchild has different rules than you would have for your biological child of the same age. So here's a couple of tips that should answer your question and make your family life hopefully a little easier. First, you and your husband need to sit down and create a set of rules for your family for different ages. For example, 12-year-olds can have a cell phone, but five-year-olds can't. And maybe your nine-year-old can play the video game and your three-year-old can't until he's nine. Make these rules universal for all the kids in your family and it's totally okay and necessary to have different rules at your house than your stepson has at his other home. As long as your rules are consistent and the other house's rules are spoken about with respect, then children learn very quickly and easily to adapt. For example, school rules are different than home rules and children understand that easily, right? When kids realize that different rules are about their maturity or their age rather than their step status, things go a lot better. So this means that you and your husband need to think long and hard about how you feel about video games and make decisions with your husband about the family rules that are gonna be applied to all the kids. If this means that his son won't be able to play certain games at your house, that's okay. Or it might just mean that he's not allowed to play them around your younger child. My son is 16 and I have a seven-year-old daughter and I don't censor much of what my son watches regarding movies and video games anymore, but we do have clear rules that if he's watching a movie or he's playing a game that his sister isn't allowed to see and she's around, then he has to cut it off. Now, yeah, it cramps his style a bit, but the conversations that we have is that it is the responsibility of all members of the family to protect each other including our minds and our emotions. And so that rule teaches our son and my seven-year-old daughter. She understands that people in the house have different rules because they're older. So now it's time to sit down and have the conversation with your children, explaining that there are different privileges that go along with different ages and that this applies to all the kids in the household. Now, when you speak to each child privately about the rules, make sure that you play up how cool it is to be their age. So three-year-olds might not be able to play games like a nine-year-old can, but three-year-olds can still get piggyback rides. And nine-year-olds are too big for that and vice versa. Make it clear that some of the rules may be different from his other house rules, but that you respect those at his other house and he needs to respect the rules in your home. And finally, Provide him with some fun alternatives to violent video games or other activities that might not be allowed in your home. Now I know step relationships are tough, but if you can keep the lines of communication open, it'll get better. You've got this.